Hi, I'm Mark Bauer with Bauer Small Engine Repair. I'm going to show you how to mount a lawnmower tire. This particular model is held on there by a single bolt or a single, uh, it has a nut and the, uh, the bolt is actually is fixed so that stays on there. They go counterclockwise to loosen. Lefty, loosey, righty, tidy. <laughs> so break that loose. It's a lock nut so it's going to come off it's going to feel like the threads are messed up all the way off until it gets past the locking mechanism on the nut. Then you can take your socket and speed things up by taking that off. This nut has a flange on it, so it doesn't use a washer. It, the flange acts as a washer. These are sometimes harder to come by than the actual wheel. If I can't get the nut or if I don't have a nut, just use a drop of blue Loctite on there. In a pinch, you could get by with some fingernail polish, put a little bit on there, that'll help lock it on there. When you remove the wheel, you want to inspect this shaft to make sure that it's not uh, worn, uh, have deep grooves or anything in it. What can happen is this can wear, and even with a new wheel, it can, it can be loose, and it can make the wheel fail uh, prematurely can wear out this hole unevenly. So you want to look at that. This one has a little wear. Anything you see shiny is wear, um, but running my finger down, it feels pretty smooth and there isn't a big step right here. That's what you'll get a big step here or a big step way in the back where it doesn't touch. And if that's the case, it shows you that it's worn. You also want to make sure the threads are in good shape. You just take a little bit of synthetic grease, put it on there. And the reason why I use synthetic is it won't um, affect the plastic on the wheel where petroleum-based grease sometimes will uh, cause a problem with the plastic on the wheel. It can actually make it bind up. So a little bit of synthetic grease on there. Put that wheel on there. Take your nut. You can take your socket and start it. Screw it down right until you feel a little resistance. If you feel a good resistance too, that tells you that nut's still functioning somewhat and uh, it still has some locking capability to it, but it's just not going to be as good as a new nut would. Then you tighten that down. It has a shoulder on there so you can't over tighten it. So you, um, if you tighten a nut down too far, it's not going to bind the wheel up because there's a shoulder on there and it stops at that shoulder. So that one's nice and tight. Once you have the wheel tightened, that's really all you need to do. Just take your uh, block out from underneath there and set it aside. And that's how you change a tire on a lawnmower.